Alright, so we're checking out the only game where the most valuable commodity is anarchy. It's City Skylines. More anarchy, damn it. City Skylines is a game where you get to make beautiful, efficient cities that people love living in. We're not doing that. I went ahead and downloaded every single anarchy mod that I could possibly find, which allows us to make roads and buildings in the most ridiculously stupid places possible. We can legitimately make people live and traverse on 90 degree angles. And so today I want to try and build the worst city that we can where people live in sadness at what their housing insurance is probably like. I've never played City Skylines, but I've played its drug abusing failure of a brother, Cities XXL. So if it's anything like that, it'll be fine. Now, no matter where you go on YouTube, every city skyline city begins with a single road. But that's boring as hell, let's jack it up. Mm. You wanna leave this city? Good friggin' luck. And uh, yeah, to get into the city, you have to traverse to the pits of hell. Is there a limit to how low you're allowed to build? Because it doesn't look like there is. I don't know, I've lost the cursor at this point. Oh, Jesus. Australia is beautiful this time of year. A little bit of this. And uh, yeah, we're gonna wanna connect in there. Uh, sure, somehow go beneath this, like that right there. Mm-hmm, that's perfect. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? We're off to a good start. I'm really curious. There's we've I've also taken the limitations off on terraforming. So I have a feeling we're gonna be able to make some horrible stuff. Can you just make this a sheer surface? I would appreciate if this can just be a sheer surface right down on the ground. That's that's nice. Wow, the road is so sheer that it doesn't actually exist. Oh never mind, it does exist. It just goes backwards. A couple of these. Right, and the very beginning of Satan's Road is prepared. Who wouldn't want to live in this neighborhood? Yeah, I'm gonna need the crematorium. Right underneath, Travis Dixon Bridge. <laughs> that does not look like a bridge. Oh, see, it just depends on what way you look at it. I wanna keep it here because this way the scent of all those we've lost wafts up to those traveling on the bridge. I appreciate that so many people have already begun living here, especially when the very first thing that you see when you enter is a nuclear power plant and <laughs> the jackass who decided to build these roads. All right, we need a, we need like a retail area, but it needs to be on like a 90 degree angle. So I think the real question here is how do you decide when to stop when you can es essentially go infinite? If anyone actually wants to live in Mordor over here, I gotta give them a lower rent than normal. They get the kick-ass roads too. Oh my god. <laughs> How do I get it to come down the other side? Perfect. Really, did we have to build a bridge just for that? Little fire station over here. If people want to go to the hospital, they have to go here. <laughs> no road access, huh? All right. How about now? I found if I keep placing roads, it like slowly cores out all of the landscaping around this thing. <laughs> I've managed to build a wall completely out of roads now. I'm actually really curious, like what a day driving in this city is like so far. I don't know why, but I put one of the water towers right in the damn way of the road. Ah, here we go. Looks like our very first travel is going to be in and out of the ground because that seemed to be a really good idea at the time. It's kind of like a roller coaster, except the difference is that you have to pay about $800,000 a year in automobile insurance to ride it. I really wanna find someone that goes up this. I'm gonna use a helicopter police depot because I doubt that the regular police will be able to friggin' get anywhere with this place the way it's built. Our nuclear power plants are so legit that they bend space in order to form places to be built. Doesn't matter if it's a game or real life. Big Brother's always watching you. Really, all he's doing is watching me screw this entire city up. Oh, someone's taking my pathway to hell. Here we go. It's gonna be an excellent opportunity to see exactly what it's like to uh, kind of do a little commuting here. I'm glad to see that every single light pole smashes through our windshield. The light poles are a lot like plants. They they grow through photosynthesis, see, so they always face the sun. 
A little bit disconcerting that the road disappears every once in a while, but considering what we built here, I guess it's to be expected. Where the hell am I now? All right, just right through the wall there. That's probably because I put like 780 roads over here. Ah, the wall of roads. I had forgotten all about this. There we go. This is the speed that you want. Just like on the auto. <laughs> we don't write anyone tickets here because <laughs> when you're coming down from like a 4,000 foot drop, you know, can I even get a way to generate energy up here? Oh, of course I can. What, what was I thinking? What is that that's levitating up the side? Is that a vehicle? Oh, it's the hot dog van. I can't really manage to get a road connected at this time, but it's fine. The few people that are there have an excellent view of the wind turbine. All right, maybe if I do a little bit of, uh, we'll do a little bit of terraforming, but it won't quite be as extreme because I want to see if I can get a neighborhood on a nice incline here. Okay, that was not what I had intended. You know what, why not? All right, so we're gonna kind of come up here like this, uh, and then kind of like around this way, like here, into the pit of despair, come on out. And then if we could connect up this way, oh, that is a jacked up bridge, absolutely. Now, I can't imagine anyone not wanting to live in here. Uh, actually, and up here too, while we're at it. And here, put a nice prison over here. I like how all the unhappy faces come up when I put down the prison. Like the prison is the worst thing I've done in this city. Oh, someone's already driving on it. Well, that's good. Yeah, you can see the moment where people's <laughs> life flashes before their eyes. I hope you guys have good suspension. Oh, someone's begun building inside of the pit. God, I'm not the only one who can't build worth a damn. This dude's shrubs look like green mashed potatoes. I need to connect this road somehow. From here, hold on, there we go. This police helicopter is like, I don't even know where to start. Oh, I can put the high school right inside of the elementary school. There we go. Now that's efficient. <laughs> I feel like we haven't done enough decorating. So I'm gonna put a, maybe a nice playground right over here. And this bounce house too, just because it looks amazing. Although I don't know why I put down so many different ways to have fun when you can have fun just driving around. I'm not gonna lie, if that dude runs out of gas halfway up top, <laughs> that's gotta be the worst. I really wanna build this neighborhood up over here. Like this, maybe like bring it around like that there, connect it here, come up top. The crime rate is high. Okay, we can fix that. Where can I shove this police station? What is the name of this bridge, I wonder? It's like Satan's Bridge. Imagine you leaving your neighborhood. Going for a nice walk. Chapman Bridge. Sounds like a lie. Get up to the top. You get to play the game because you you never know whether or not a vehicle is suddenly going to come over this friggin' incline and crush you. I'm really happy to see that traffic is working so well in this area. What is that vehicle traveling on? Oh, that's the road that went backwards. Now I remember. Ah, oh, it has to even do a full flip in order to turn around and get into the neighborhood. More people are starting to move in to like the weird mountainous crater growth tumor thing that we've got going on over here by Harvey Boulevard. And uh, I really appreciate how hard these people work to keep their shrubs. Insurance, hike, boulevard. There we go. You know what this needs? A botanical garden. Hey, asshat, did you really have to build your building in the middle of the roadway? I mean, I guess in retrospect, if they look at anything I build, I can't, I don't have any room to talk. Man, it is every man for themselves in this friggin' town. Look at the suspension work. These people are going around those turns at like 60 miles an hour. Shirley Reed is an uneducated adult. Her and I have something in common. Why are you going shopping with a box of tools? It looks more like you're preparing to do a burglary. Shirley Reed is a simple name, though. We need something else. Your name is now Gwen Meet More. Hope to see you again sometime, Gwen. You know, if you don't fall off of one of the roads and die. I was trying to understand why it's so dark over here, and then I remembered that I built that 2,000-foot mountainous hellscape right there. It's casting a shadow down the entire business district. We've got all the technology in the world, and we're selling phones from 1991. Man, there's a light right on the edge of this thing over here. How the hell is this guy walking on a vertical? Like, he's walking vertically on a sheer surface. How long is this light? 
You guys are gonna have high blood pressure by the time this light turns green. Uh, we got a police car sitting next to a forestry vehicle carrying a ton of tree logs on like an 80 degree incline. This is some Final Destination stuff right here. Is there anyone walking nearby? <laughs> My God, there is. Lady, go that way for the love of all that's holy. There it goes. <laughs> so, what? Oh. All right, yeah, you know, you don't have to drive on this side of the road. It's, I mean, most people do, but it's a city full of rebels. I've invented the world's first drive-in school. Here, watch this, right here. Boom, that guy just got his diploma. All right, we've had some budget cuts. So now the fire helicopter depot has to share some space with the prison. You know what? We can probably just have the prisoners do some volunteer firefighter work. What could go wrong? This is called Faith Tunnel. Are you serious? No regrets tunnel. What the hell? Uh, sure. Oh my god. What the hell have I done? I think this is a high school. <laughs> Although part of the high school has warped itself into the side of my mountain. Okay, now this is new and exciting. What I've done here is I've built the college on top of the high school, which is on top of the elementary school. This way, as kids grow up, they can actually learn to be looked down upon for most of their lives. I decided to put a bus station here because after you get done going down Travis Dixon Bridge, you may never want to drive again. This is the first time I've really paused to take a look at the creatures inside of my city. <laughs> Young man, is that bear driving your freaking bicycle? Chances are you're gonna die in one to two years anyway on one of the cliffs. Come on in everyone. Enjoy the beautiful Japanese garden. And then, off in the distance, you can enjoy what it looks like when a psychopath designs some roads. So, can you put tolls on the sheer roadways? You sure can. <laughs> That's right, you gotta pay the toll in order to use this crap. Someone's gotta pay for all the lawsuits that get incurred as people go up and down this thing. Get some hot air balloons up in here. It's probably the easiest way to get to the top of this thing. Garbage has piled up. Just throw it off the side. Man, this is a fantastic village that they've built over here. Look at this place. Incline here makes San Francisco look like it has a low sperm count. Damn. Police helicopters, uh, you know, going up to 30,000 feet over here to check the hospital, make sure everyone up there is still alive. I appreciate that there's a lot of traffic these days on this this tower of pain. And it looks like the uh, the garbage truck even heads up there to help the, uh, the hospital out now and again. I gotta tell you, I think we've made a hell of a city so far. Things are going great. Every time I see a vehicle stuck at a red light for like 35 minutes at a 90 degree incline, I feel so happy. This guy's getting on his iPad. He's like, send help. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of City Skylines, where I've begun to learn how to make roads even worse than they ever were in Cities XXL. Hey folks, till next time, stay foxy, much love.